Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Avi, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. No, I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the Super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. But with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. as fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. Doing 30 Gs at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erosion Emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here.
Is everyone here? Settle down. I said settle down. You have all been instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhin ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. Squadron aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers incoming. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Main squadron head to runway. Column squadron take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Main squadron. Sign is page two. Verify and read back. Page two, clear for takeoff. Your situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party. But we have faith in you. Good luck. Control, do me a favor and get that bird in the air ASAP. Page two, altitude restriction is lifted. Good luck. The carrier. Whoa. Looks like the harbor's taken a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage 2, form up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem 4, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst, and stay sharp. We'll go. Trigger, I'm your best man. Fly with me. That's what it means to be in an element. Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. Target down. 
shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Good going, Mage 2. Flight Commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Column Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? Column 1, return to base and report for debriefing.
We are currently assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhin continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You have our thanks.